guys, this is Aniko, and today I have for you the 11th Let's Play for Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. And today we're going to be heading out to the Elizabeth Dane to check out what in the world has been going on on that ship. So, first we'll head out to Santa Monica, and I'm just kind of looking around to see if there's any easy humans down that back alleyway to take a bite out of, but it doesn't look like it, so... We're gonna go ahead and go. The Elizabeth Dane does not require me to fight anybody with this particular character build, you which is ride. great. Yeah, just drive. Okay, back to Santa Monica. But, you know, if there was an easy snack somewhere, I was going to take it. Okay, so we are headed down to the beach. Back to where E and his friends are hanging out. Ah, oh, Mercurio, you're awesome. Looks like you're feeling better. I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. I'll close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that beat. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. I might need some equipment for this little trip. Alright, so now we can buy ammunition, and eventually there'll be more guns that we can buy from Mercurio. It's kind of awesome, actually. And if we do info, you can ask him about weapons. And sniper rifle. Even in this country, military grade sniper rifle with 50 caliber ammo could take a man apart at quite a distance. Makes the Secret Service nervous. I can, however, get my hands on a SWAT rifle. Give me some time. Okay. How about some other weapons? Specifically, Combat shotgun. What you want is a Spaz 15. I got a connection for those, but I haven't seen him in a while. I think he's in Mexico. As soon as he gets back, I'll have a few of them. Put together a dragon's breath, too. Sort of. Spits WP rounds. Do nice work. <laughs> Specifically? A flamethrower. Oh, yeah, I got a lot of requests for those. Handle in the movies. Everybody thinks they're a riot until they set their friends on fire. They're not very easy to get hold of. I got a Vegas connection for those. Last time I was out there, I had to shoot my way to the state line. <laughs> Mercurio's life. <laughs> Specifically? A tactical nuke! Only a lunatic would want that kind of ordinance. That's why they got him in Washington. <laughs> Alright. So eventually along the line, Mercurio will get some of those weapons, except for the tactical nuke, Ed. I'll have them available. Uh, one other thing I want to do while I'm down here at the beach. I have been. No, no, you are going to China. What are you talking about? Why is he smiling? The father. Is, is it the father behind him? You're not making any sense, honey. You chased it for the one at the top of the city. On the sea. Oh, on the ground. You found it in the crypt. It's open. Oh, it's open. Oh, God. Oh, God. Run. I don't understand. I'm sorry. Sometimes I see nothing. Disregard what I say. <laughs> you have a gift. Please. It's very important. Can you tell me anything else? One hand moves the pieces of the game. The winner keeps his hand on the pawn. Can you be more specific? I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. 
Wait, do you know anything about the murder on the pier? The murder. Yes. The killer is dead. He moves soon and travels to the heart of the Angelis, to the home of the stars, and then returns fulfilled and empty once again. Okay, can you be more specific? I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. <laughs> How about my fortune? Fortune is not your destiny. All of us are unfortunate. Every time I sleep, the future plays out before me. I know the end. It will end over and over until I cease to dream. I know your questions. For one hundred dollars, I'll tell you what you don't want to hear. I need money to leave this place. A hundred? I'll give you twenty. Here's my question. Then ask again. What's going to happen to me in the next few nights? He comes on ship. He's not who he says she is, and is going to burn. Dinosaurs. He's furious. The man with the crest. The voice in the darkness. Boss. Chinese brothers. Follow the lights to the end of the tunnel. Where do you want to go? Who can I trust? Um, the man on the couch. The lone wolf. All others. Tread carefully. Who are my enemies? Mm, everywhere. Some with swords, some with smiles. But I pity them. You are a remarkable foe. Any advice at all? Something that's going to save my life? Don't open it. Mm-hmm. So, who has a job I can do? Those with a lot to say usually have something on their mind. There are many unique individuals around the city. It's almost as if they're waiting for you to ask the right thing. E, for example. In fifth grade, who stole my bike? I see the future, not the past. <laughs> so, am I going to win after all is said and done? Whether or not you win the game matters not. It's if you bought it. <laughs> uh huh. Bye. <laughs> Subtle. I like it. All right, and there's E. Hey. Just passing through. Okay, onto the boat. Off to the Elizabeth Dane. And I just wanted to talk to Rosa there because she does give some interesting hints about the story and it's just worth it for the story. Okay. Ugh, come on. Ah, up. Onto the ship. Thank you. Yes. Okay. No. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Tell Jacobson if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's got to start working with me. I can't keep getting him these scoops if he's going to send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. <laughs> he didn't tell me this was a formal affair. Jeez. What kind of wood, Steve? Don't think to at least show dressed up like an investigator, a Coast Guard guy, something. Didn't you ever see Fletch? Were they just handing out those diplomas nowadays? <laughs> Enough. We need to do this fast if we don't want to get caught. All right, look. I got you a copy of the initial report, and I can get you into the cabin, but you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn flash photography, brainchild. <laughs> Where do I go? Hold up a sec. Heinz to Marsh. Heinz to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. Got it. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly-dally. In and out, okay? Understood. Don't forget to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse. All one word. You getting all this? Yep, got it all. Now get a move on. And don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my usual fee for this one. Okay. Poor Jacobson. Heinz to Jacobson. Uh, Anderson. Heinz to Anderson. Come in, Anderson. Come check this out. I just saw a baleen whale. Yeah. That's Anderson right there. There he goes.
Now, you can do this ship a whole lot of ways. You can not talk to the cop, and you can just go in completely stealth. You can kill everything, but you're not supposed to, because that will make LaCroix very unhappy with you. But there are options. Okay. There's the computer. Control. Lighthouse. Oops. Lighthouse. Yes, okay, thank you. Um, deck cams on. And unlock the doors. Okay. All right, so now we can use this little computer right here. And we just switch it. And there you go, that's a view of the Uncarned Sarcophagus. So that's all we actually need. We don't actually have to go out there. And then I'm gonna run down here and I can get a copy of the shipping manifest in here now that I've unlocked the store. Oops. Okay. And that's all you need to make LaCroix happy. Now we just get off the ship. Oh yeah, and there's blood everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, uh, I think it's safe to say nobody survived on the ship. <laughs> Which makes you wonder about that sarcophagus, doesn't it? Yeah, that isn't a shiny puddle that's red tented. It is blood. All right, and then just hop down. All right, back to downtown. Oops. Well, you're not in the best position for an easy meal. There's another person standing right there. Yeah, I, I just was looking for an easy meal again. <laughs> what can I say? My vampire's hungry. Okay, well let's head back to downtown. Oh, and look who's across the street from us. Yeah. Hold on. This might seem creepy and all, but please don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. Because I just wanted to... I'm in your debt. I want to help you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not wearing you out or anything, am I? <laughs> That's hard to do these nights. You look much better. I'm glad. Only because of you. What you did for me. Here. I... I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. I can be useful to you. I'd do anything. Just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. Oh, Heather. Creepy, creepy. Ah. Oh. Man, I made a mistake, Heather. I only did that to save your life. What do you mean? You're like... You're like... The effect you had on me made me want to live. It's all because of you. You saved my life. Please, let me be of use to you. I'll do whatever. I don't care. <sighs> oh, man. And we do want to keep her. Uh, because she does give you some nice free armor and other freebies. Um... So, I guess we're gonna do 
If you must, fine. Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise. I'll get you money, I will get you things, everything. I want to be important to you. <laughs> okay, well, wait for me at my place. I can't have you following me around. It's dangerous. Uh, I know where you live. I checked there first. That's even I'll creepier. Your place. And when you do come back, I'll take care of whatever you want. I'd do anything for you. Creeper. Uh, do what you want, okay? Bye. Yeah. Oh, Heather. So many issues. Well, let's tell LaCroix about his box of death. Chunk! Evening, Missy. You back to see Mr. LaCroix again? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. He told me to send you up as soon as you came in. What? People here to see Mr. LaCroix? Nice guy. It is, seems a little different, though. You wonder if he's... <laughs> ah, that's his business. <laughs> Thanks, Chunk. Oh, poor Mr. Chunk. I've said all I need to for now. All right. I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. <laughs> Everyone on board was massacred, and there weren't any survivors. And the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? There was blood all over the floor. Handprints indicate it was opened from within. Opened? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in the parade of malingering molly couples filing out. <laughs> yeah, who were they? Those were the Primogen, this city's clan elders, a worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin, which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian Primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone or is missing. This box of cards <laughs> has put the Primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. <laughs> uh, certainly. Is that all? Yes, for the moment. You know, your demeanor thus far bears similar characteristics to those that rise to the top of this organization. Stay that course. Thank you, sir. Now, about Grout... Yes. Uh, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. Hmm. I'll go right away, then. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. Until then. <laughs> oh, and to show my appreciation for your dedicated service to me, I have secured you a haven nearby, in the Skyline Apartment Building. I hope it's to your liking. Thanks. Tell my ghoul to move there, too. And that would be Heather. Heather the ghoul. The things you do when you try to help somebody in this game. You mess them up for life. Okay, so since we have a new mission from LaCroix, we're going to go visit the Anarchs. Eh, they always have something new to say. And yes, I'm, I'm still looking for a meal. <laughs> I do need to eat before we head out to Grout's mansion. So that will definitely be happening. Oh, where's that guy going? He's headed that direction. Uh, there's too many homeless people around. They will see me if I snack on him. Okay. 
Jack! So I heard you and Nines had a run-in with the Sabbat, huh? And you let them go. Nines must be getting soft. How can you pass up that kind of fun? <laughs> How come he keeps helping me? Well, well, he was left sireless, too. I don't know, maybe that's it. Well, he's got a thing for the little guy. Huh. How do you think the Sabbat found me? Someone must have put a word out. Now, here's an interesting little scenario. I'm just gonna run this by you, see what you think. What if the prince got the word out to the Sabbat that you were the one to blow up their warehouse? That would be special. You really think that's possible? Hey, it's a theory, man, but who else is gonna be watching you so close knowing where you're going and all that? Great. Why would LaCroix help the Sabbat? I'm not saying he's working with the Sabbat. I know he ain't. But he sure as hell could have put the word out there on the street where the Sabbat would pick up on it. Did you want that? <laughs> I guess I could see that. That's how the Camarilla works, kiddo. Trust me. I've been dealing with these slimy shits for a few centuries now. <laughs> I see. Thank you, Jack. The Jack's awesome. His conversations change after each of the major missions. Let's wander up. Next nines. Maybe. All the time I've got to spare right now. Tell me about yourself. Came to California to get out of the Dust Bowl during the 30s. Been fighting this fight since the 40s when we kicked out the can. I was new to all that thing. Not a whole lot of people from those nights still around. And some of them are. They're just not anarchs anymore. <laughs> Is it worth it to have to constantly fight to keep LA? That's a stupid question. Freedom doesn't come cheap. At any time, you gotta be ready to defend it. A lot of blood's been shed for what we have. <laughs> you must have learned a lot in that time. Any advice? Alright, this might help you out. I use guns, but most vamps get up close and personal. In that case, the thing to do is to let them come in for the attack first, and dodge it and take it like that. Then use your blade to deliver the death blow. Mm -hmm. Time's up. Come around in a few nights if you're still alive. <laughs> Time to kill. Alright. So, because I did that, I now have five total points in melee. I've maxed out melee, which is awesome. Okay. Let's get out of here. Last stop. Skyland Apartments to visit the new digs, check the email, and um, find Heather. Why is this alley always empty when I come down it? <laughs> uh, oh well. Going up. All right, here we are. Home sweet home. Fish tank. A box to put stuff in. A television. Let's turn that on. Be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. The Southland Slasher struck And this, we pick that Los up. Uh, there is a bug, and this thing doesn't want to actually activate. It's this right here. I I've got that research skill. It's just a bug. So next time I load in, that will be solved. You just kind of save and exit the game, and then reload, and that works then. Police believe there may be a connection between and it basically the buffs up some of your disciplines. Okay, so there's Heather. There's my computer. I now have a much nicer computer. The password's still the same as it was before. Okay, repay favors. 
Stop by my apartment when you get a chance. I'll set you up. That's from Curio. We already talked to him on the beach. So, and right now he doesn't have anything extra special. And then the next email is don't touch the butter. Yeah, it's it's a uh, <laughs> it's a spam mail again. Okay, good. And Heather. So glad you're back. I've been waiting here just like you asked. Your place is um nice. I didn't decorate it. Is there something I can do for you? Anything. Just ask. There's something you should know before we go on. Oh. Are you married? Is that why you don't want me around? No. You survived because of my blood. I'm a vampire. You're bound to me. What? Uh, you're joking, right? That's like slang for something like catcher or some fetish term, right? Not like a blah, blah, vampire. Right? Bleh. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm afraid not. My blood commingles with your own. A term for you is ghoul. No, there's no such thing. You're... This isn't funny anymore. <laughs> oh, dear. Do you want me to leave? To love somebody else? No. Please, don't leave. I don't care what you are. Just don't leave me. <laughs> oh, dear. Good, because if you ran right now, I, I'd probably have to kill you. What can I do to show my appreciation? Uh, let's see. You have any money on you? Um, here, here, that's all I've got. <laughs> so, tell me about yourself. Me? I am not so special, you know. I go to college. I major in fashion design. I think I'm pretty creative. I just started school a year late because my my parents died. Um, car crash. I didn't really have anyone special in my life until you came along. Oh dear. Well, that life's over now. You belong to me, so always remember that. I understand. I feel famished. Share your blood with me. She's an easy snack. At least for a partial refill. And you don't want to kill her, so don't do that. Alright. Let me open this. So this is the bedroom, there's some dressers, there's a closet with nothing in it, because you're a vampire who wears the same clothes every single night. And a bathroom, because, uh, you know, clearly you have to wash your undead self. Okay. So that's it. We now have new digs in downtown, which is really nice. I'm going to wrap this video here. Next time, we'll find somebody to chew on and finish filling up the blood pool. And then we'll head out to Grout's mansion and figure out what in the world is going on with Mr. Grout. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Maybe sub to the channel or follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time. Bye.